Hello everybody, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're going to be going to Downtown Disney to visit Buena Vista Street for the first time in months. We're there because we're celebrating Valentine's Day. Yeah, we're there because there's a bunch of treats that we want to eat and we could eat again at Downtown Disney, so we're going to eat the treats. Oh yeah, we can eat there. Last time we were there yeah. we couldn't even drink a water. Yeah. So come with us on this adventure. Over here, I noticed that they had some billboards up featuring the characters from The Incredibles telling you to wear your mask. I'm guessing the billboards were originally meant for Avengers Campus, but pivot. We were here, what, like a week ago? Yeah. It has completely changed since then. It's a lot more crowded. I mean, it's by no means crowded, but there's just people here again. There's life, there's energy. Yeah. I love to see it. Look at <laughs> how many people are over there eating at Earl of Sandwich. Yeah. That's gonna be us soon. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind eating over there to roll a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, let's grab a quick bite to eat there. Oh my God, look at this. It's a beefy mac and cheese sandwich. That looks insane. Just mac and cheese, beef, cheese, mac and cheese and bread. I don't know why that looks, sounds really good right now. Like, yeah, get it. Get, get it, get okay, it. I'll get it, okay. So we weren't originally planning to film it. Earl of Sandwich, but we saw that they had this roast beef and cheddar with mac and cheese on bread, and oh, <laughs> I guess there's not as much mac and cheese as in the photo. Oh I my god. Put that much mac and cheese, it would probably fall off. Yeah, so. is this a scam? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. I'm happy with the amount of cheese to, to meat to mac and cheese there. And I'm, this is a limited time offer. I don't know if it's just for like Valentine's Day or what, but I'm just gonna pretend that it's for Valentine's Day since you know we're filming a Valentine's Day video. Yeah. So you know, come to Downtown Disney with your your love and order yourself a beefy <laughs> mac and cheese. <laughs> Very cheesy. This is good because it has that cheddar cheese and then kind of like the fake cheese that they put on the mac and cheese. Yeah. But it's not too overwhelming. Who invented this? I don't know. But you know what? Maybe Cupid, maybe Cupid invented it. We're not sure. Like a four and a half out of five. Wow. It's not quite a five because there's other sandwiches there that I enjoy more. But I would definitely get this again. And I would say, come down here. I'm not exactly sure, you know, how long this is gonna be around, but come get it while you can. For those of you who are wondering what Peter got, he of course got the holiday sandwich because as the rapper says, this is the world's greatest hut sandwich. Wait, 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 wait. My rapper also says that. But it's talking about my sandwich. No, I'm pretty sure it's talking about my sandwich. No, it's talking about this right here. So last time we were here was a few weeks ago and I made a prediction. I was like, why don't they turn the Rainforest Cafe into a resistance outpost base and that's where the Star Wars store could be. Little did I know, that's what Imagineering was working on. So they've actually, they've started the transformation already. You can see some of the torches have been turned into like the satellite dishes on the top of the Rainforest Cafe. They've added all sorts of like greeblies all over the top to make it more Star Wars. You know what greeblies are. Basically they're like little bits and pieces from model kits to make it just look more complicated and stuff like that. And there is a sign here, it's covered up. When is it gonna be unveiled? When are we gonna to get to go inside there? We don't know. Could be later this week, could be in a few weeks, but I am excited. Disney, if you are listening to us, I think that you should turn this into a food option. You should sell Ronto wraps. You should sell the blue milk. You should sell the popcorn, sell everything. Sell everything from Docking Bay 7. <laughs> Cause there's kitchens in there. This yeah. was a restaurant, so like. And, and I do see that there are like umbrellas with tables up there, still there set up. Is? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know you could eat outside there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I mean, just a, just a thought I had. How awesome would that be? It would be awesome. So awesome. I just want a Ronto wrap. That's all I want in my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I was right last time, I'm gonna make the, I'm gonna make the uh, plea and prediction again. AMC Theaters has been empty for years now. Maybe it could be a second Avengers Campus. 
<laughs> okay. They have all the merchandise. Yeah. Let's build a venture campus in the old AMC. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Disney, do it. So one of the Valentine's Day treats is here at California Churro Company. They have a Valentine's churro, which looks amazing. From California Churro, we got ourselves the chocolate-covered strawberry churro. This is a churro that is dusted in strawberry powder, drizzles with hot chocolate fudge, white chocolate, and red strawberry sprinkles on top. It smells really good, yeah. actually. And I'm kind of weird, like I like the taste of fake strawberries, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably gonna like this. The thing about these though are they're so incredibly messy that they have to give them to you in this little like container. Oh wow. Look at that. It looks... Wait a second, that looks insane. Ooh! The sparkles on top are almost like gold, like a, a red gold color. Can you really? see that? So this could like double for Lunar New Year too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, kind, it's kind of like sour. It's almost like a sour strawberry. Really? I was not expecting that. Huh. <laughs> Peter, you're gonna like this, I think. How is it sour? It must be the sugar. See, I had you try this because it has so much chocolate on there that I thought... I don't, I don't think there's enough chocolate. Really? I, I barely taste the chocolate. Like, it's just like the perfect amount. But wow, this really does taste like a chocolate-covered strawberry. Look at this. You see it caked on on the bottom there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have a sugar coma. Wow, this is really good. Maybe it's just been a really long time since we've had a churro, but I'm gonna go out, and go on and say that this is better than that peppermint churro that we had. Really? Yeah, it's just so different. How many Ketras? Five out of five. This is freaking delicious. I really, really need you to try this though because I don't think you understand. Okay, fine. I didn't want Except to, Except but... my churro, Peter. <laughs> You can smell it from here. Wow. You're not ready for this. The world is not ready for this. It's weird, huh? Like in a good way. It tastes like the, the strawberry that you get in like a strawberry cream donut or something. Oh. Right? You're right. I thought there was gonna be a lot of chocolate on here and it's a lot of, it looks like it's very chocolatey, but you don't really taste the chocolate. Does it taste sour to you or yeah. am I crazy? Okay. Definitely a sour taste. I'd give this like a four out of five, Peter. So no. doesn't quite get an ordinary adventure star, but I would wow. recommend it. If you're here during Valentine's Day season, is it a season now? I guess it's a season. Get it. Last time we were here, you couldn't eat. You couldn't even take a sip of water on the side of the, the place, but now you can sit off to the side with your water and your food. I'm a happy girl. <laughs> I bought a water just because. A lot of the restaurants here in downtown Disney already have tables and chairs out and ready, but I still think that they need to bring back the cast, the employees, and order the food. So it might be a couple weeks until we see some of these restaurants back up and running. Last time we were here at downtown Disney, we didn't get a chance to go to Buena Vista Street. There was just like so much going on. I think we've been there since opening day, maybe one time after. It's been a really long time. Months, yeah. people, months. We're here today to check out Trolley Treats because we want some Valentine's Day snacks. Toot toot. I thought the train was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, I don't want Valentine's Day treats, I want this. Give me this. How much do you think it costs? Can I eat this? Um, I will pay any amount for this. <laughs> oh, there's a train, there's a trolley. Get him, get him, get him. How cute is that? I don't even think we went in here the last time we were at Buena Vista Street. Oh yeah, we only got in the other side because it was like such a huge line. Oh my god, I'm even more excited to be in here now. Ooh, they have a display over there with some of the items. Look, be mine and there's a little bee on there. It's How so cute, cute is that? The apple has the same thing. Yeah. There's so many cute treats here. There's so many what cute are we gonna treats. Get? And I don't think we're going to get all of them this time because we're a little full. But well, you know, we'll get a good arrangement there yeah this looks like honey coming out of the top like honey for the bee bee mine get it what is this one are those peanuts or oh, like and they also brought back the the tigger tail tigger tail or tiger tail i think tigger tail 
Oh man. So a couple of things that are new since the last time we were here. Oh, eye on the prize. Eye on we the prize. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Day. Focus. We gotta focus. They also have some cupcakes over here and they also have some chocolate and white chocolate covered strawberries, but you can get those anywhere. So we're going with the Disney, the Disney treats. Last time we were here, we wanted to go to Bona Vista. That was when like all the food was shut down. It was like a ghost town here from all the Instagram photos and videos that I saw. I almost like am glad we didn't get to go because it looked a little depressing, but it looks back to normal. First up is the Valentine's Day special marshmallow wand. And I love marshmallow wands, so and that's quite a connoisseur. I'm working my way up. That is really good. It has the marshmallow in the center with the caramel. And this like tastes like a dark chocolate to me. Yeah, I think it's dark chocolate. I think it's dark chocolate. This is very a very solid contender for best marshmallow wand. <laughs> is it? Although I've never had the Tigger Tail. So. One day. One day <laughs> One we'll day. have the Tigger Tail. But I think I'll I'll give this five out of five Peters. This is this is very good. It's up my alley because I love caramel and this is like has all the right things. And the dark chocolate's not like too, you know, too strongly dark chocolate, so. I got myself the Rice Krispie Minnie Mouse pink polka dot milk chocolate Rice Krispie bar. And I'm gonna be honest, I actually wanted to get the other one, which I heard was a strawberry flavor, but they sold out of that. They're actually sold out of a few things. They were sold out of the Be Mine one, which was my second choice, but you know what? There's nothing wrong with this old girl. I'm gonna already tell you this gets a five out of five before biting into it because you this is- eat it before you- I, Trust me, I will eat this and I will enjoy it, but if you guys know anything, you know that I'm a connoisseur of these Rice Krispie treats. I don't need to say it again. We all know that they're like the best Disney treat. Better than the Dole Whip. No. Better than the churro. No. Five out of five. Good choice. <laughs> Perfection. Mm. The combination of chocolate with the marshmallow, with the cr Rice Krispies, with the sprinkles, with the M&Ms. It's like a match made in heaven. So five out of five. Peter, you don't need to try this. I'm gonna, you know, put it back in the bag and eat it once we get home. So to be honest, I'm kind of full. So delicious. By the way. Monsters Inc. The ride is right behind I you. I know. This is uh, last time we were here. This part of the park wasn't open. Yeah. So you know we could get. How, how far are we away? So like close. 100 feet. That was our first ride together. Yeah. It was. Yeah. And look at your See? your face mask. Yeah, it is. Wow. So this was kind of a Valentine's Day outfit after all. Aww. <laughs> I love you. Okay, you gotta put your mask back on. You're not eating anymore. Oh, I know. And of course, how could you not go with a caramel apple? Because unlike what Kitra says, caramel apples are the best treat no. that Disney has. No. What one of the They're best actually, you know what? You're they're like better than you think they're. They're creeping up to like take the number one spot. Yeah, and I think this caramel apple is probably chocolate covered. I'm not sure if that's milk chocolate or white chocolate and has the caramel and it, it's overflowing. You said in the store, almost looks like it's like a honey yeah. coming out of a honey pot. That's why the bee wants it, be mine. Yeah. Is this like a Winnie the Pooh kind of treat? Yeah, maybe. Okay, I got I gotta get the bee, right? <laughs> okay, okay, good luck. Oh wow, I'm proud of you. The apple is very juicy, caramel. The, the, I mean, let's be honest. This is just a caramel apple dressed up for Valentine's Day. There's nothing like it's cute. special about yeah. the, yes, it's special and it looks, but there's nothing special about the inside. Inside it's just a caramel apple. So the inside isn't honey? I mean, you could pretend it's honey. Will you be mine? I'm talking I mean, to her, not the people on the other side of the camera. I mean, you already ate the bee, but sure. Do you want some? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see it go everywhere? It's I like... wish we had that in slow motion. <laughs> The juice is all over my nose. Oh no, my alarm's going off. Oh my yeah, god, this is a disaster. I think this is white chocolate. Really? Yeah. So you know what, what I know. 
Yeah, this is white chocolate. The white chocolate ones are good. Ordinary Adventure Star. This was a good purchase, although there was only one B and Peter ate it already, but it's fine. Tastes like chocolate. It, don't ask me if it's white chocolate or no chocolate because I don't know. now not on camera because it's really messy and okay you don't need to leave a comment i know that i spilled cheese on myself okay <laughs> i'm aware it's the price you pay for eating that cheesy whatever it was the cheesy thing <laughs> just so you know we are like standing off to like where we'd sit like right here and we were told that was okay you could stand like right here and eat your food yeah you're supposed to stay stationary while you're eating. So just, just so you know when you come here, don't be walking around eating your apple because that's not allowed. Peter just informed me, not only do I have cheese on my shirt, now I have bee mine bee juice on my shirt. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice clothes. Okay, we're gonna go into the stores and see if they have any Valentine's Day merchandise or anything, just cute. But before we do, I wanna say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Kendall, Homesteader, Gellner, Kent, the Baker family, and Cynthia Santos. Thank you guys, let's go. All right, guys, what do we think? Better or worse? <laughs> got, got my wet wipes left over from Hawaii, so. Can't I'll, take you anywhere. I know. Let's go. Swear, those clouds in the sky look unreal. Does not look real. Remember when we had to wait like an hour to get in here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was like no line. Look at these ears. Do you notice anything special about them, Peter? Oh yeah, the polka dots are actually hearts. Yeah, they're the hearts instead of polka dots. And I love this. It almost looks like a dog bone. <laughs> well, it's more Doesn't of like it? a two hearts. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh my God, you're right. <laughs> instead of a bow. Yeah. This is so cute. You guys know that I'm not like the biggest ear person, but I'd actually consider getting these. They're so sparkly. I'm not sure if this is necessarily Valentine's Day related, but again, I love the drawing style and these like new Mickey pieces of merchandise, Look at this especially one. this one right here. This is amazing. This is like all of Kitra's moods yeah. throughout the day. I start the morning like this, and then I have my coffee, and then I'm like this, and then I'm yeah, really but, happy. But you spill stuff on yourself all the time, so you can't wear. The I white. know. I would never be able to wear this T-shirt. What about this tie dye? Yeah, these are. This is a great collection. This looks more like Easter though than. Yeah, I like this one over here. Mickey being like, wait, what is he thinking? Man? I can't even He's put into thinking, words. Uh, 2020 is over, but 2021 <laughs> isn't that great either. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. I don't know. I choo choo choose you. Does this? That's Pixel right there. Oh, that is Pixel. I didn't even notice. Yeah, it's a dog but... beast. It's actually not Pixel. It's a Boston Terrier, but it's close enough. But did you get the reference? Yeah. I From choo choo Simpsons? choose you. So this technically technically could be Valentine's. <laughs> and there's a picture of a train. Well, I think they're ch chewing like dog chew. Yeah, I know, Peter. I like explaining the jokes. I choose. <laughs> Here you go, Ralph. <gasps> you choo choo choose me? So the other thing as part oh of gosh. the Valentine's Day celebration here is they got a Dooney and Burks. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a Mickey and Minnie. Oh my gosh, these are always so expensive. But that's pretty. Look at all the little icons. Has like. Oh yeah. It's got like the castle. The what is that? The fun wheel maybe. I can't really tell. A Mickey hat. Yeah. All the stuff. Even <laughs> hearts. There's even hearts <laughs> on there. I love that. I want to I... show you something. They even have a Dooney and Burke bag for the pet collection. So they have two. How much is that? Oh, I kind of like the cat one better than the dogs. Oh my god, perfection. Perfection. These are too expensive for me though, so I don't even know why I'm looking. The Disney Cats one is perfection because cats go purr. Because cats what? Go purr. And purr. Perfection. Oh. Yep. <laughs> On our way out of downtown Disney, we're gonna stop over at the World Disney because your girl Kitra has a problem. And, she and needs... that problem is called Nuimos, and your girl wants a few new outfits because <laughs> we get a 30% discount with our annual pass and 
they need some more outfits. Let's just go see if they have anything different, right? Yeah. Right? You want to do it, right? We'll just go some, we'll, we'll just, do window shopping. Yeah, we'll just look. Let's yeah. just go look. Cute oh Alice in Wonderland display. That is so cute. These are mugs, I think. Yeah. Like coffee mugs. And down here, we have some of our friends watching the fireworks. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Is there anything new or different? Yeah, I see some different outfits here. Like a, a track suit, like a sweatsuit. <laughs> kind of looks like the purple wall at Magic Kingdom, doesn't it? A little bit. Cowboy outfit with cowboy boots. I mean, what's this? A cool, like, wow. Talk about fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> so many to choose from. Oh. This one says it's fashion collection number one, and this says it's a wardrobe essential. Yeah, so these ones are always going to be out, and these are, like, the new collections that come out each month. So are they, like, limited time? Yes, limited so time. So if I don't get it now, like, so <laughs> oh, I God. should get it? I really do want to buy at least one new outfit, but I don't know which one. Just so you know, look on top when you're buying your thing because each month they come out with new collections of clothes, which is going to be a real problem. I can already <laughs> tell. They're actually magnetic. Their hands are magnetic and they can hold hands. How cute is that? And it's also for accessories. So you could have them like holding like a, a phone or... Yeah, once they eventually get accessories. They have them in Japan. Well, we're not in Japan, Peter. We gotta wait. But one day, for now, they could just hold hands. <laughs> well, I mean, you gotta get it the right way. Oh my God, it's like opposite. It's like they don't want to hold hands because the magnets are like... <laughs> you gotta put it on the other side. No? <laughs> Why is this working? There we go. This is the, the haul for today. <laughs> I got this little outfit for Mickey. That's cute. Right? Yeah. And then Daisy, she gets the lounge fly and the tracksuit. Okay? So, we're fine. Not a we're, problem. We're, we're just adults buying, buying little stuffed animals that we're dressing. It's fine. I saw that Chippendale are in Japan, the new emos. Yeah. So when they come to America, I'm getting those too. Just so you know. Okay. Oh my god. Look at this guy. Oh no. The big fit big footed porg. Oh my god, you know what I was just thinking? What? What if they came out with new emos, like Star Wars character new emos? Like you oh could no. get Wicket or What if they come Chewbacca? out with like Marvel superhero costumes? <laughs> or Star Wars outfit for Star Wars characters? This is a hole. Yeah. This is making me so happy. 2021 is great. <laughs> this is really soft. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I don't know. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. If you want to see our Valentine's Day visit to Disneyland last year, we'll put the video on screen right now. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Yeah, go watch it. I think I eat the exact same rice kiss retreat in that video. That's not going to convince them to click on the video. But there was different things. Go watch it. Bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs>